Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today I am here working with the Pumpkin Spice Collection by Close to My Heart. It is technically Mini Camp Monday, but I just went on a little vacation. I went to see my mom, and then on the way back, I stopped. I saw Kathy for a few days and came home. I just got home late last night, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do this voiceover. But when I went to see Kathy, I forgot to take my um, Mini Camp Monday. So yes, we're not really doing a mini kit Monday today, but I do have this gorgeous layout that I used close to my heart products on. You can see right here, I am using photo placement holders to use. I had a few photos with me, but I didn't have anything fall, but I did wanna use this pumpkin spice collection because October, the end of October, is when it gets out of the catalog. It'll be retired after then. So I wanted to show you guys some more bits that you can do with it, um, show you how some of the layouts work or can look in case you want to pick yourself up this collection. It's really cute. I have really enjoyed working with it. In fact, when I was visiting Kathy, um, the catalog for September and October has Holly and Ivy and Pumpkin Spice. And that's mostly what I worked with when um, Kathy and I went to the hotel. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed working with this collection. Now you can see I am using two of the papers that did come in this collection. Um, a piece of white daisy cardstock as my background. And then that piece I use as a banner. That's one of our, our new colors. That's a piece of cardstock that is in Harbor. Harbor is kind of like a smoky blue. It's like what you would think of, you know, <laughs> when you see the fog over the water, you know, it's a little bit, it's dark blue, but it's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. It kind of has gray tones in it to me. I think it's a really fabulous color. Now I did trim off two one half inches from both of those papers and also the branding strip. We're going to go ahead and put those at the top of the layout just to give a little something up there, right like that. Th these two pattern papers, I'm going to go ahead and keep them straight, but the zip strip piece I am going to cut into a fishtail banner. You can see on the zip strip piece down there, oh, sorry about my head, you can see on the zip strip piece down there I did not um, really cut it right so there's still some pattern paper on it so I'm going to have to go ahead and trim that off by hand. Now for the camera I'm using you can see it keeps focusing in and back. This is actually Jim's old cell phone. I started using it. I didn't want to take my big camera because you have to use actually use a tripod. And we were in a hotel and I didn't want to bring the tripod. So I had to kind of rig something up. It, it worked out pretty good except for it's pretty high up. So my head um, keeps getting in the way and I apologize for that. But you know what? It is what it is. So I am going to go ahead and start embellishing. This is the sticker sheet that goes with the Pumpkin Spice collection. I am going to use a sticker that says Happy holidays. I'm, I'm going to pop that up on some of the foam tape from close to my heart. I'm also going to use one that says thankful for every moment. Here I'm looking at um, an old paper that's retired now, which we are going to pull in some of that. Um, it's pretty cool. Actually, I have another piece of it right here. There's all these tags on the back, but it is retired, so you can't get it. It's from the mix-in paper pack from May through June. I did go online to see if there was any more available um, because I, I really love this. I think it's the best, but it is not available anymore. I do have um, a little bit. I need to, when I unpack, I need to see if I have any extra old um, packs that I hadn't broke into yet and maybe sell them because I do use a lot of old stuff. And it, if you guys see me using it, you can't get your hands on it unless I have some in my own stash, right? So the third sticker I use says, Welcome Autumn, and I am using that down at the bottom. Here I got that paper that is from the mixing paper pack from, what did I say, May and June. I'm going to cut out two of the tags. Now you're not really going to see the tag part of it. You're just going to see the fishtail. I just pulled it in for that craft color. Really like it. It goes really well with this. I am going to put one at the top. Uh, and build a cluster up there under the happy fall days. And I'm going to put one under welcome autumn. The one I put under welcome autumn has lines on it. Oh, look, there's Kathy. She came and brought me some M&Ms and now she's telling you guys hi. Say hi, Kathy. <laughs> we had so much fun. <laughs> It was such a good time. I forgot I left that in there. <laughs> I wanted you guys to know that she was waving at you. So there you go. Also taking care of me, making sure I got a chocolate fix. So there you go. 
So anyways, the one with the lines is going down at the bottom so that journaling can be written down there. I did pick up, also cut out this little tab. Uh, I don't end up using that though. I do try, but it ends up going to the wayside. Now I am going to pull out some of these orange leaves. These orange leaves, they come out of a punch out sheet that came with the workshops your way for pumpkin spice. This time, you know guys, and I've done these videos before, sometimes I will follow the directions and sometimes I just go off on my own. This time with both the pumpkin spice collection and also the holly and ivy which you'll see some videos for that coming up i just went off on my own so i use the die cuts however i feel like using them i do use three of the orange small leaves and i use three of the acorns two regular acorns and one that's a double and i'm gonna stick them down right there now i do miss a little bit um here at the end i am gonna use that dina wakely gold gilt i think is what it's called splatters to splatter around the page before i do that i am going to bring in some brads now these brads i don't have the name of them actually i still haven't unpacked my car i brought my clothes in and that's it but my scrap, my scrapbook stuff's in the car and that's where the brads are i don't have the name for it but when i went to visit kathy there is a scrapbook store over there and i think it's in colchester we stayed in macomb Illinois and I think that the scrapbook stores in Colchester the woman that owns it her name is Peggy super sweet lady you guys if you're in the area you should go visit anyways I forgot enamel dots and Kathy forgot enamel dots so we went ahead and visit her anyways because you know support small businesses hello that's me too anyway um <laughs> We went to see her and picked up a few things from her and I did pick up this little thing of brads because y'all know I love brads, right? So I do scatter six of those down around the page. After that, I'm going to do the misting with the gilt, the gold gilt. But of course, you're not going to see that. Um, again, like I said, I'm using Jim's old phone, the focusing thing I didn't even know was happening. And apparently it cut me off at this point. So, yeah, we went out when we were there. We went to the Walmart, the Walmart, and we both got 256, I think, gigabytes of um, SD cards so that we could record as many videos as we wanted. And I think we both got quite a bit done. We'll talk about that more later because this is almost over. Please check the links down below. Hop over to my close to my heart shop and pick yourself up something if you'd like to support my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.